Hey guys, Shreyan this side and today in 10 minutes, I will try to cover the Hatios REST APIs. It's a weird name, right? Hatios, which stands for Hypermedia as the engine of application state, right? So here, before I start this quick sync up, I have done the complete in-depth of Hatios at Concept and Coding Spring Boot playlist. Okay, so consider this as an overview or recap of it, right? But if you want to learn in in-depth, uh, check out the Spring Boot playlist of concept and coding. Okay, so what is this Hatios man? Like it's a very weird name and never, not many engineer heard about it. So why is still so much big product based companies are still using this? So here if you see the term hypermedia, so generally what happen is that when you go to a particular website, there you have seen a link from that link you keep on visiting different, different pages, right? Similarly, the same concept Hatios also brings to our REST APIs. So here in a simple, if you say that what it tells, it tells client what all next operation it can be done, right? So what does it mean? Now let's say that you are at state A. Currently you are at state A. From this state, you can perform operation one or operation two or operation three. So from this, you can perform this three operation. So it tells client what all next operation it can done, right? For example, after adding a user, after a user has been added, what all you can do? You can do get call, to fetch the details of the user or you can delete it. So these two operations you can do. So here if you see the response of add user, if you are not using Hatios, how the response gonna look like? Let's say that in the response you will get a user ID, whatever the new user has been created. What is the unique ID? Let's say 12345. Name of a user, address of a user. But with Hatios link, How's your response gonna look like is you have a user ID, 12345 same, name, address, but here this is the difference. Here we have something called links, right? L-I-N-K-S, links, which is an object inside a Spring Boot Hetios dependency, right? So this links, it's an array. You can have multiple objects inside this. So I am already adding only one just to show. So it has two things, relation, REL and HREF. So HREF is nothing but a unique URI for the operation. Let's say that I am trying a, I am adding a URI for the get. Hey, after addition, you can do get. So I'm adding a URI for the get slash API slash get user slash one, two, three, four, five. And what is the relation self? So see, it's just an understanding. You can also put get, this is the relation. You are trying to get the information of a user. So generally self is an industry de facto that it's a get only. Like you are trying to fetch the details of this user only. Okay. So either you can, so relation means what is the relation of this URI with this particular item or you can say that with this particular user what is this so let's say if you want to do update it so i can put relation let's say update just to tell that yeah it's an update operation and href i will create a dynamic link so this is all dynamic it's not a static right so maybe for this user this link is getting created for some other user some other id will get created and it's dynamic depending so if update is allowed after a particular state, we can add one more comma, one more relation is update and href is your the update link. Okay, so now here if you see what is the purpose of adding a Hatios link in the response. The main purpose of Hatios link is to do a loose coupling. Loose coupling between client and the server. So with the help of the link itself, we can 
tell to the client that hey what all next operation you can do so client do not have to have a very tight coupling with our rest apis that okay after the, okay if i am getting currently let's say uh, what is the current state of the user what is the let's say country of the user based on this i have to perform this operation so that business logic can be removed out of client and all those business logic server can have it and just provide the link okay this is the link directly invoke you don't have to uh, do that okay if the user country is this if the state is unverified or etc etc then i have to call this api otherwise this api okay i have already explained this in the in depth video like uh, one proper example but the main purpose of hatios is to achieve a loose coupling between client and server so here if you see a very simple uh, method where i am adding a hatios link to the response so let's say that at the red post mapping add user let's say i am trying to add a user and somebody has invoked this api and i here i have added insert and after insert you are getting a response that okay this is the user output okay so insert has been happened now in this output i am adding a link i am calling add link and i am adding a link so here if you see that this link which is coming from spring boot framework spring boot dot hatios so link dot off i am providing the uri and what is the relation okay and this link you can add it and return it so it would get added like this okay for the coding perceptive check out the uh, end up video and in the description also i have put but remember there is a disadvantage with it so now let's say that after a particular state let's say add user there are so many operations is possible get delete update verify etc 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 let's say that 10 operations are possible is it okay to add like 10 here like like this one relation is get another is update another is delete it's uri it's uri it's uri that would be difficult to manage and it will blot our rest api the response right and always remember that these uh, links which we are adding that's a dynamic means if you are adding more links means more complexity at server side so never ever keep on adding links like all the possible operation which can be done after this state we don't need to add it only in case where tight coupling is happening only to resolve that we have to add a hatios link to to keep the client and server loosely coupled and i have given a very good example into that one check it out but yeah this is a very quick overview